Okay, Jasper Active, Microsoft Word 2016 Core Lesson 4, Learn 2, Inserting Page Breaks. So click on Learn if this is your first time, or the Practice button if you need to go back and redo something. So in this exercise, we'll learn to insert different types of breaks to change the document. All data files are located in document slash Jasper Active. Okay, so only three steps on this one. The first one is use page breaks. So number one, with the sales figures document open, move the cursor to above the chart image. Press control plus enter to insert a hard page break. All right, so sales figure document, I can see that right here. Move the cursor to above the chart image. So here's my chart image right here. I'm gonna put my cursor right above that. And then I'm gonna hold the control key and hit enter and you notice it has inserted a page break, so everything below the cursor is now on a new page. All right, then step two, press the backspace key twice to delete the page break and return to the left margin. So backspace key, backspace key, and that's removed that page break for me, and uh, my document looks like it did before. So go ahead and click Mark as answered, and next. So insert a page break. Click at the beginning of the popular tours text. Here it is right here. Click the layout tab and in the page setup group, click breaks and then click next page. So layout tab, there it is. And in the page setup group, click breaks. Here we go. And then click next page. So now that's inserted a page break here. All right, click the Home tab, and in the Paragraph group, click the Show Hide Formatting Marks command to show formatting marks. So Home tab, and then Paragraph group, and our formatting marks is right here. Now I can see all of the formatting marks throughout my document. Okay, and you can see where it says Page Break. It's different than if we had just clicked Enter a bunch of times. So you should now see those formatting marks indicating every time the enter key was pressed to go to a new line, as well as the arrows between the tabbed columns, which you see right here. Um, scroll to where the text ended on page one. Here's page one. There's where the text ended. The section break appears to show where you entered the code in this location, right? So we entered that text break and that is the code right there. So click mark as answered and then next. So set up the two-fold brochure. Step one, move to the top of the page, oh, move to top of page two, click the layout tab, and in the page setup group, click orientation, and then click landscape. All right, so first I'm gonna move to the top of page two. I'm gonna click the layout tab. Uh, in the page setup group, I'm gonna click orientation, and then I'm gonna click landscape. Right, so now this has changed just this page. So you'll notice that it didn't change the page above it. It's just this one page is now landscape orientation. And if I scroll to the right of the document, I'll notice there are new two different page layouts on the screen. And that's it. Click mark as answered and show results. 